Kinnick Stadium with 70,000 plus. No one in the Hawkeye State is neutral about this one. The 50th meeting between the Cyclones of Iowa State and the Iowa Hawkeyes. They'll start from their own 20. And Wallace will start from the gun. And take an inside give to Rutland. Throw deep wide open Danielson. He will be caught from behind at the 20 by Bob Sanders. 59 yards. Lane Danielson could not have been more wide open. Well, you set it up off the play action, get Wallace on the corner. This is prime time Iowa State offense right here. Almost no one can do that. I wonder how the jumper is done. Second down and goal from the six. Rutland through the middle. Touchdown. Hiawatha Rutland threw a huge hole and the late hit really hurting Iowa, setting up the Cyclones with the first and goal. Well, they finally figure out how to deal with Russell slipping through Nick Leader's true freshman nose guard out of Omaha. Again, well protected. Whitfer with the catch, hit immediately by Pagel. Most of them happy, all but about 2,500 or so in Cardinal and Dole. Wallace again to the air. Danielson. Antoine Allen wrapping him up, another gain of 15 yards as he begins from his 25 yard line with a play fair. And Jamal Montgomery with the cap. Wallace on second and eight, rolling left this time. And that is no problem for him as he demonstrates again. Throwing against his momentum to Danielson for 13. Wallace play fake. And chased by Colin Cole. Pulls up and another strike. And again shows how well he throws on the run to Jack Whitford this time. Iowa State needed. They have reached the 17 in his first possession of the second half. And another quick toss. Whitford turns it up to the six. Just inside the five now. Second and goal. Option the other way. This time fakes the toss. Keeps touchdown. Iowa State. I think it's very significant that while we're up here talking to the, the maestro that has trained these coaches, his coach who was down has just gotten his team back in the game. Don't you think, Hayden? No question about it. Is this about as good a goal line play as there is? I think, you know, that's one tendency I didn't care if the other team knew because that's what we did on the goal line and short yardage out in the field. Most of my quarterbacks couldn't run too fast. Thanks. Lost it as he brought it back to pass, and Billups hops on it at the 32-yard line. It just slipped out of Brad Banks' hand. I was just about to say that this is a critical defensive series for Iowa State. Sanders says, losing to Iowa State is the worst feeling I have ever felt in my life. And aims not to feel that again tonight. Rutland backing his way. Near another first down at the 13-yard line. They go up a few watts if they score here. Second and goal, seven and a half yard line. And Wallace on the slant in has a touchdown to Ball Montgomery. This is a perfectly thrown football on the quick slant. A play that's almost impossible to defend. Again, the corner must keep inside leverage. And in this case, he simply does not do that. You know, Lewis in for Grevin. Bakers to him, Billups almost coming with the safety blitz and knock it free from Banks again, recovered by Iowa State. Tim Tabrink, the nose guard. Number 91, Tim Tabrink was relentless coming from the backside. And a lot of quarterbacks sort of have a sixth sense about when someone's converging on them from the rear. Brad Banks never suspected he was back there. This had to be unthinkable for the Iowa fans to see a 24-7 halftime lead maybe evaporate in about 11 minutes. To the end zone, Danielson. Not quite in, he's a foot away. <laughs> Are you kidding me with that throw? We talked about what a... The arm strength of Wallace, the accuracy of Wallace, he stands right in the pocket, knows exactly where he's going, and drops it in over the cornerback and under the safety. What a beautiful throw. 
Shades of Florida State wow. over their hands. So it's an inch and a half away, and this time they give to the fullback, and a touchdown for Joe Woodley, and Iowa State leads. And now a chance to keep the Hawkeyes pinned back in the shadow of their own goal. Good to Aaron Gregging, who is caught in the end zone. Safety. Yeah, he didn't get out. Absolutely. Number 41, Jeremy Lloyd, the strong side linebacker, was in the end zone in the backfield instantly. That is tough. He's the guy that said losing to Iowa State is the worst feeling he has ever had. At halftime, it had to be one of the best when they were up 24-7. Wallace chased by Howard Hodges as he throws to Whitford. He does it again. Over and over. Seneca Wallace pulls him out of his back pocket. 29 yards this time. Now listen carefully to me. And let me explain to you how very difficult this is. This young man, who's an absolutely brilliant football player, is running to his left. He turns his torso all the way beyond 90 degrees. His shoulders are perfectly square. This is perfect technique. This is absolutely amazing. They come with a safety blitz. And again, throws going to his left. And again, he has a strike to Whitford. Fred Russell, who left with a shoulder, which has been iced the entire second half. On the run, he hits Danielson this time. Turns it up inside the 35. So they march from their own five to the 34 of Iowa. Wallace, late pitch on the option to Rutland. To the 20. And the march continues. So 36 yards here from Benneke for a nine-point lead. And he has nailed it. They have been held to 48 total yards here in the second half. And they start 80 yards away, needing two scores in a little over five minutes. A good start. Good throw. Hinkle and then lost it. And Iowa State recovers. Harold Lewis on the recovery. A backup corner. That is awesome. We've seen Banks drop a ball, get a ball knocked out of his hands. Now receiver, lose the ball. Amazing what's going on in the collapse of the Hawkeyes this second half. Scored on a one-play drive, scored on a two-play drive in the first half. Second half, nothing. And on a safety blitz, Anthony Forrest comes and he gets Banks again with some help. Brandon Brown gets in there as well. And yeah. hits the game is over. So Dan McCartney has done it again. They'll take the Cy Hawk Trophy back to Ames. Five in a row over his former cohort here in Iowa City, Kirk Ferentz. 36 to 31 with a 23 nothing third quarter. Iowa State turned a deficit into another victory over the Hawkeyes. For Mike Golick, Bill Curry, Michelle Tafoya, Dave Barnett, this has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.